Welcome back, Knights of Apollo, to another glorious siege battle. My name is Apollo, and of course, this is Total War Rome 2, and this is a massively epic struggle. We've got a huge settlement. We have eight armies on the battlefield. Four of the armies attacking are Roman. All the attacking armies are four Roman attacking armies. That's going to be quite the force to deal with, but... The defenders, they've got some tricks up their sleeves. This is a siege of tricks and traps. We've got Lusitani, who have set up some ambush forces outside of the city. Now, these are not Roman allies. These are enemies. And the cool thing about the Iberian boys is that they have a lot of vanguard troops, and you can set up outside of the, de the deployment zone. And they're going to spring a trap here, spring an ambush on the Roman army. They've got just enough vegetation over here where they're not going to see it coming. And uh, look, at the, look at the Roman army. They've got Javis here. Uh, they've got some auxiliary, uh, auxiliary Syrian archers. Very good unit. If you can kill them... You completely take away the skirmish capability of this army, and it might just be worth it. The only infantry nearby are the Praetorian Guard, which, uh, they're good, but if you can start to chip away at their numbers, that's gonna really help you out late game. But it is a gamble, because a lot of their forces are here. In fact, I think the entire army is here. Uh, so it's gonna be tough. Uh, it's got like they've got to make sure they kill enough or they leave their allies stranded alone without another You know army uh, So yeah, let's um really quick look at the other defenders. Oh, by the way another little trap they have here uh, They've got some cav look at this Egypt another defender has some cav and the outward uh, the uh, like the perimeter the outward part of the city now I don't know if they can go through here. I don't think they can so they're probably going to have to go back this way and then go through this gate, which is really unfortunate because it would be pretty sweet if they could go through there. But it just shows by looking at all this cap that they're going to be very aggressive and I uh, can't wait to see that. Uh, hopefully they get a lot of kills with that cav. I always enjoy cav running down archers. But this is going to be a tough settlement uh, because it's a multi-layered and, uh, well, the Romans are, you know, Rome. So, <laughs> the Romans are going to do fine. Uh, as, but if the defenders are going to have to rely on their defenses, rely on teamwork and these traps, try to defeat them. So, are you guys ready for the trap? I don't know if you guys are, but we're going to do it anyways. Here we go. So, the guerrilla warriors reveal themselves. Not even... Oh, they still can't see him. There they go. Now they see him. And they're going to go for a charge. And it's all about getting them by surprise. And this is one of the most terrifying things you could see at the start of a battle. Where you're just not expecting it. The entire army. The entire army is just pushing forward. And they're going straight for Roman infantry. Straight for the Praetorian Guard. Who are pushing up all the siege equipment. Nice little toss there of the javelins. And now they're crushing. Crushing. Uh, these skirmishers and there goes another push over here again the skirmishers caught out of position and are getting slaughtered here comes another push of troops this way going after the praetorian guard trying to overwhelm them that's the best way of killing these guys surrounding them and overwhelming them it is getting a little framey here which is unfortunate uh but there's a lot of trees and troops running right now and then we've got some skirmishers i believe no no these are just spears Look like they have javelins or something. Uh, but no, they are going to try to flank around, which is smart. Try to get around the Praetorian Guard is what you have to do. We still have a couple units in reserve, but the rest over here have committed to the fight. Look at this blob of a struggle. Uh, the Romans definitely have the advantage here. But Lusitani, they are going to, again, just try to kill as many as possible. It's too bad. Oh, well, the artillery's firing in here. See this artillery? Greek um, ballista? They could definitely aim for this big blob. They could kill a ton of them. But now they're getting outflanked. Oh, there you go. That was so close to getting a, a, a lot of kills. And unfortunately, they... Oh, the friendly fire. Oh, no. It misses. How do you miss such a big target? And now the Romans are... Uh, well, it looks like they're cleaning up. Now we have a general, though. Look at the general, and he's getting melted. Oh, my God. The Roman general just got melted by a bunch of projectiles, and they're down to seven men. I assume the general has fallen there. I assume he is gone. 
And that's a huge victory. Oh, now we... Okay, hold on, hold on. We got some crazy stuff. Now we've got Cav being committed. Did they... I didn't see their Cav before. But yeah, they've got Cav uh, pushing in and now supporting the infantry. We got more Cav charging inward here uh, against the Roman, uh, Roman Cav. And... This, oh, here we go. Here comes, oh, please, please get a good hit. Oh, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Could have gotten more kills, but I can't complain there. Uh, let's check about that, uh, the, the Egyptian cab. I think they, uh, I don't know where they went. Did they actually push through? Were they able to push through? I don't think so. Where did their cab go? I can't find it. Because I'm pretty sure you can't push through that gap. I have no idea. I'm just making sure they're not fighting yet. Where did they... Oh, they're over here. They're over here. I don't... Yeah, I, I guess they went through this gate. Uh, but they're going all the way around. Plus, our Verney has some cav as well. So, <laughs> they've got a lot of cav out there. So, there we go. These troops are sitting back using their projectiles here uh, they've already killed the general they're softening up the praetorian guard look the praetorian guard have already lost about 50 men 50 men that is crazy now almost 60 the rest of the roman infantry charging over there trying to support them and uh lusitani lusitani excuse me uh are doing a decent job here of inflicting damage to this Roman army. The Cav fighting their hearts out. We've got Cav reinforcements, their allies, trying to get over there quickly. But they've got to go fast because uh, they're running out of time. I think they used up all their missile capabilities. And I, am, I do apologize about the lag, guys. It's because there's so many units in one spot. But all these spears have to do... Oh, come on, artillery. Egypt should just take control. I think you can press insert on the keyboard and you can take control of this. They need to do that because the AI is just missing and hitting their allies over and over. Come on, please. Here comes the cav, guys. Here comes the cav. More cav! And they're going to charge all these lights, all these skirmishers. And here comes Egypt. There's another spear unit over here. I think they returned from routing. No, don't you break. Reinforcements are here. Where's that artillery? Please hit this Praetorian Guard unit. Oh, no, they're changing targets. What are you shooting at? The buildings out here? The slums out here? The Romans are now changing focus. Here comes the Cav. Citizen Egyptian Cav. My god, so blobbed up. Not a great charge. They're going to disengage there. The spears are going to sit back. Come on, this is such a perfect target for that artillery. Oh, they're dispersing now. They're running out of time. Please tell me you're going to fire. Please tell me you're going to... I just want one juicy hit. That's it. But it doesn't look like they're going to go. We got even more cav showing up. More Egyptian cav. Oh, come on. They're so blopped up. Ah, looks like the initial fight is about... Oh, my God. While that was going on... A huge push over here using the tortoises to knock down the walls and the Romans are already advancing onto the defenders that is crazy this has been a just insane fight that honestly might be why we had that lag is because of all the mo troop movement in the, the crumbling of the walls uh, I'm not really too sure because the walls they drain a lot of your uh, ram i assume with all the dust and the falling pieces um, but rome has opened up a huge gap into these walls and this could be disaster for the defenders 
Look at all the troops setting up here. This is a very important part to defend because it's so close to the town center. And that's why we see so many of the defenders located over here. Uh-oh. He's got hunters getting way too close to the front line. Way too close. Uh, but the defenders are crumbling here. They're not organized. They have not set up a proper defense. And the Romans are going to take advantage of that. Do we have another wall falling down? Yes, more... Well, no, that, that wall's been down. Uh, but more and more Romans about to pour in here. And the defenders need to try to do something here. They, they can't just give this up. But that's what it looks like it's going to happen. They are just falling back constantly. And I think, yeah, they're, yeah, they're just kind of giving it up. That means they have to give up this area as well. Because uh, if they don't defend this, the flank is going to be exposed here. More Cav just running around. They still have troops over here hanging out. Look at that. <laughs> Rome's trying to reform. And they've completely given up on this side. Rome. Uh, they are now moving their troops over to, to uh, join their allies. Man, what a crazy fight. Siege battles are usually not this chaotic at the start. Oh, jeez. They got a good hit on this cab. It's a good cab unit, too. They're falling back. Let's get a bird's eye view of this. The Romans pushing in. And they're doing the best they can to try to zone out this uh, harassing cab. Uh, but they're going to have uh, they're gonna have a lot to deal with. Now cab has kind of slipped past the Romans. They're probably going to look for a vulnerable unit, maybe like the Ballista or something. Uh, but cab, uh, defending cab is still all around. Romans are now just pouring in troops. Egypt ready to make their stand and hold this position. Egyptian infantry are just not going to last long here. This Roman infantry are way better. Way better than the Egyptian infantry. Hold the line. I love sieges, man. They're so fun. Especially one like this where it's just so different and chaotic. There we go. These troops are about to break here. The Romans now re repositioned. They've got them surrounded. And yeah, it seems the defenders have given up on the outer walls already. Rome has pushed up siege towers, but honestly, they should just wait with these siege towers until they're pushing on the other sides of the settlement. Then they can attack. I mean, seriously, they should try to get as many siege towers over on this wall as possible because it's going to be so important to attack this area. Look how close quarter it is like i mean it's just less area for the defenders to have to defend so you've got to attack here 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 and on the walls and you if you can even push up siege towers through here i don't know if you can push siege towers through this little broken rubble here but if you can send siege towers up on these walls as well you know you got to go everywhere you must attack everywhere in this type of uh location so it seems like yes they are holding the siege towers which is good because they're going to wait to use them. Rome is pushing up more and more of their troops. Uh, the fight over here against Egypt is going well for Rome. As like I said, the Egyptian infantry are just no match to the skilled Roman soldiers. Rome going around some eagle cohort. A very elite unit as well. And they are pursuing some nobles. The nobles now going into the fight. But why, though? I mean, if you're going to put up a light defense here that's just destined to lose... Because, I mean, two units are not going to hold all of this. They are coming back with more troops, though. Why would he push in when all of his allies are pushing back? You know, advancing backwards. Got some Celtic warriors trying to help out the Lusitani. Lusitani sending in some nobles, more nobles, and another unit of nobles. So, well, maybe with the help of the extra nobles, they can get more kills on that big blob of Roman forces. Uh, it seems that, well, they still have the cav out here. And the Egyptian cav, unfortunately, got caught. Looks like they're charging some legionary cohort. There's some really good units in this this battle and here we go more oh they've got to contain this though if they want to get a lot of kills with their nobles they've got to contain these forces they cannot let their flanks expose and here comes some nobles charging in 
Man, this is just a big battle. Oh, we've got uh, some Kush slave infantry. <laughs> They're going to charge in as well. Support the nobles. Slaves and nobles fighting together. Together against a common enemy. Though the slaves don't really have a choice. Uh, so back here, the Romans are actually charging. They're charging the walls. I think it's because they have to, because their siege tower is starting to catch on fire. That's why he, sh he should have waited, like, back here. Uh, to prevent the siege towers from, from taking fire damage from the arrow towers. And then pushed up. But hey, they're pushing. And because they're pushing on the walls here... Oh, jeez, look at this. They're just throwing some projectiles on them. That's actually pretty good, because the siege tower will protect them. And it's just absorbing animo uh, ammo. Uh, but if they're going to push here, Rome must push here. Like, they've got to help the attack. We've got uh, some slave spears, Egyptian infantry. Up here, we've got archers firing down. What do we got? Some royal archers. And a big infantry fight here. A big struggle still going on. We've got three different factions. Kush, uh, Lusitani, and Arverni all trying to hold this line. And I'm glad the attacker or defenders are still being somewhat aggressive here and not just completely falling back. Though I don't know how long they can hold. Look at this. Now some spears that were part of the outer ambush are coming back to help in this fight. And Rome is more than happy to uh, engage. Push. The Romans have now uh, changed focus and are going for this gate. Uh, I don't know why they're not using their ram. This is terrible. Just use a ram. It'll bring it down much faster without taking as many casualties. Uh, but yeah, they're going to they're gonna finally push up. But this army is pretty weak, right? They lost a lot of good, of a good amount of troops. Uh, I mean, they're still powerful. It's still a strong army. Uh, but it's definitely softened them up and slowed down their assault, right? Uh, they're still going to push through here, but hopefully by the time they do, this fight over here is going to end. Which, by the way, seems like Lusitoni is starting to fall back their elites here, which is not a terrible idea. You don't want to lose your general so early on. Fight! God, imagine being a, a lesser trained soldier having to charge in and hold this line against Romans. It would be devastating. Now the Romans are not quite pushing up. They're still trying to deal with this flank. But the defenders are ready in case they do push up. They are trying to harass some of these royal archers. Lots of women in that unit. Uh, falling back. And let's see if they, they turn really quickly. They're just harassing the Romans, basically. Try, I think they're trying to get the Romans to attack. But I think the Romans are trying to take it safe here and slowly defeat the defenders one spot at a time. And uh, right now, it's this spot right here. They're trying to break through. Uh, the Romans over here need to hurry up. They would be charging in by now if they just used the ram. The ram is right there. I don't know why they're doing this. And they're losing men. These are Praetorian Guard. I mean, he's got... I think he's bringing, like, almost all Praetorian Guard. But, uh... Look, he still has some of his troops facing... He's so, like... Worried about another attack. Now, we know there's no Cav there, but he doesn't. He might think there's Cav waiting to ambush. But finally, the gate is aflame. And it is uh, about to go down. It's at 20% damage. And then they're going to be able to attack here. But it's time. Um, and I, they've noticed that. That's why the defenders are falling back here. They need to try to get as many men out of this fight as possible. We also have a fight here. we got some swordsmen who... Uh, some warriors who charged in. They're going to disengage though. Disengage. And I... Oh, Egypt sending in more men. Uh, but it's depleted infantry. He's probably just sending them as a sacrifice unit 
I think that's exactly what he's doing. See how they're now pulling out of the fight, trying to save as many lives, and they're using depleted units that have already are pretty much useless at this point, just to hold back and buy time uh, for the healthier units to retreat. Because here comes Rome. Here comes Rome. They are going to be charging forward here, going through the gate. And uh, this has been a great battle so far. Get these troops back. There they go. Lusitani, they're falling back. Lusitani, excuse me. Falling back. And they're still trying to skirmish down these Romans. The Romans naturally getting into a defensive position, going into Testudo. And uh, they're reforming right there. Which, I don't know why he would reform right here. Because they're going to get attacked, obviously, right there and behind. Like, he should just completely fall back, because this Roman army is going to do a lot of damage if they're trying to hold. But I hope they killed enough Romans here. I mean, this was quite the struggle. And there we go. The Egyptians are instantly breaking. Not really doing much there. And look at what's left of this Roman army. They have so many reserves. Is that artillery? Oh, artillery going for the general. The Roman general. Yeah. Artillery opening fire on this army. Man, they're firing quick too. I think usually when it fires that fast, I think it's a player controlling it. Because you can, you can open fire very quickly. Come on. Hit them. They're so blobbed up. Oh, uh, they're holding fire now. But yeah, this, this thing was firing like crazy. Okay, so the Romans still pushing up. The defenders reforming their lines. Retrying to... Trying to organize here. They still have a lot of troops everywhere. A lot of reserves. So, both sides still have a ton. We've seen so much fighting. And you would think at this point that there wouldn't be a lot of troops left because of all the fighting, but there are thousands, thousands of troops. And what's this? Oh my God. Look who's back to play. We have Egyptian Cav. I think they're gonna, look, they're slowly going. They're staying covered here. The Roman army does not know. Now, here's, here's the options here. Do you charge the rear of this army coming in? Or do you just be patient and you get behind the forces over here? Uh, that's the great dilemma. That's the great question. We'll see what's going to happen here. But the Romans who attacked the gates with fire haven't even given their troops time to rest. Uh, and look, they're charging in winded. And uh, these guys are fresh. Now, these are Praetorian Guard, but the fact that they're winded gives them a chance. There's uh, Chotel Warriors. Here comes another charge of Praetorian Guard. What a struggle. What a great battle this has been so far. Very, very interesting. A lot, it's just playing out a lot differently. We got one unit of Celtic Warriors holding back some Legionary Cohort. We got some Fiery Balls of Justice ready to go. I don't know if they're close enough to the, uh, the stairs. The Romans, uh, what formation is this, Rome? These guys were, these guys were trained quickly. Oh, we have a little fight over here. Wow, for the opening of this point here. And then back here, they defeated the Romans, unfortunately, over on the walls. Actually, are they fighting in the streets? Well, it doesn't really matter. Because they've cleaned it up. But they should still use these siege towers. Please, Rome. I mean, send four or five units you've got plenty to this side and keep putting pressure on this side because it's gonna do wonders for the other fronts and here we go Rome has given the word they are full-on attacking that's cool with the statue right there full-on attacking if they can get behind the Praetorian Guard they have a chance we got a tiny Praetorian Guard unit over here, getting harassed by Cav. And let's not forget about the Egyptian Cav. We need to keep a close eye on them. They, oh, they're going for a general. 
They're going general hunting, guys. Oh, we'll see if they can get them. Roman's still at the gate here. I don't know if this unit's... Oh, why are they in Testudo? That's weird. Uh, I guess he's just keeping him in reserve. Now the Roman's pushing aggressively over here. It is a pretty light defense on this front. The archers now setting up here. They've got a fantastic angle to the Roman position. Rome is going to fall back. He realizes there's no point. This is probably this is honestly the probably the hardest point to attack and they might have to wait. I honestly I think the Romans should push through here first. But the defenders are giving them hell. They're making them work for it. Here's some Lusitonian nobles. They, they might need more infantry here. They do have a general nearby, but I think Kush has a lot of troops he could send up there, and he might have to, but instead he's focusing his uh, his forces on this front. And now we got Cav doing hammer and anvil on the rear of the Praetorian Guard. So that might just get them to break. Also, we got some pikes in here. Yeah, Kush pikes. Kushite pikes. The defenders are starting to look kind of thin, though. Egypt, mostly Egypt defending this area. And oh no! The Romans are going to get these uh, veteran shield warriors by surprise. But will it be enough to defeat them? Nice, they're trying to clean up the walls. That's smart of Rome. Okay, Rome now flanking around. He's got some legionaries trying to cut the general off. I'm not sure what this general is trying to do. But I think he he must have told his general to retreat in the pathfinding what got him going the wrong way. This general is in big danger, guys. Big, big danger. The Romans here are being defeated. The pikes are just too much for the Romans. Rome needs a different strategy. They might want to send up some skirmishers or something to, uh, to, you know, skirmish them down. But remember, that initial ambush killed a lot of the Roman skirmishers. Oh, jeez. This general's desperately trying to get out. How many did he lose? He lost only 10? The general only lost 10 men? Wow. That's, I would be so mad if I was Rome. I'd be like, that is bullcrap. We had him surrounded. Rome is slicing through the defenders, guys. They've got to fall back. We saw this in yesterday's video. Everyone must fall back. You've got to fall back to the inner parts of this defense. Uh, Kush needs to fall back. He's got, Kush honestly probably has the healthiest army uh, in terms of the defenders. He needs to get these guys back to the victory point. Unless... Wait a second. Is this the victory point? Why did they do that? Oh. Okay. This is not even the victory point, guys. Hold on. I, I keep forgetting... Ro they changed it. They put the victory point in the center. That's why they're holding here. Ugh, that's so dumb. It's, I don't like how they did that. I don't know why they did that. I guess to try to balance the siege battles a little bit better. But uh, the victory point is right here, not over here. Uh, it would make sense for it to be over here because it's like got two walls protecting it. Uh, but no, that's why there's so many troops out here defending this area because this is the victory point and that's what they have to defend I am sorry guys. I hope I didn't confuse you at all uh, During the beginning part of the battle, but I uh, hope that makes sense uh, But Egypt actually Egypt might have to retreat over here and help defend I mean defending this area still is good because it it helps prevent Rome from being able to uh, push 
push and use a different path to attack. Kush sending in some slave spearmen. Yeah, Egypt falling back, reforming their lines. Maybe going to use their archers here a little bit. Just open fire, try to kill as many uh, Romans as possible. Still fighting up on the walls here. But yeah, it's important to fend here because then they could use this to attack behind. So yeah, this, this is a very important uh, choke point to hold. The Romans, man. Just, they have so many numbers. The bounce power is still in favor of the Roman army. Let's see if the defenders can hold. Oh! Disciples of Epidemac? Epidemac. Epidemac? Very cool. They've got some lion headwear. The poor lions they had to kill to wear that. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're holding the line against these v veteran legionaries. And so we're starting to see the elites of Kush go into the fight. Legionary cohort oh, standing there. Got a little fight over here as well. And uh, our Verney coming over to support. Try to hold against the Praetorian Guard. Big fight here as well. And Egypt is starting to run out of troops. And it seems like they still have a full healthy army that has not even engaged yet. Where is the Egyptian cab? Did they kill the general? I don't think so. The general looks like he's fine. Maybe because there's a lot of different generals. There's three generals right here. So yeah, I don't think they caught the general over there by surprise. Because remember, they did kill one general over at this fight. Look at the carnage over here, too. Uh, but yeah, I think they were not able to sneak up on the general. There's just so much going on in this battle. It's hard to cover it all. Uh, but hey, seeing some Romans break here, that's good. That's good news for the defenders. That's great news. But I don't know. I mean, there's just so much Praetorian bar. I don't know if they can hold. Balance of power. Still pretty much the same. These archers are out of ammo. Syrian archers pushing up. There we go, holding the line here against the mighty Romans. Quite the fight. This is like the, the bloodiest part of the battle as of right now. And the Romans have engaged another unit up here, a legionary cohort. We have some uh, Gaelic hunters opening fire, causing some of these archers to break. Very good. And now the uh, Egyptian Cav flanking around. Oh, they've got some Syrian archers ready to kill. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to get them up on the walls, but he's not protecting them. Oh, God. Yes. The juicy cab charge. That's what we all love to see. Very, very good charge there. Um, that's probably saved hundreds of lives. Lots of Romans breaking. The defenders are holding strong. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. Rome still has so many troops. Now we got a hammer and anvil coming in. This is the Kush general who should be dead. Right into the backs of the Praetorian Guard. And they've got to keep it up. Praetorian Guard have lost about 30. They need to lose a lot more if you want them to break. Let's see, what do we have here? Some more swordsmen coming in. Some warriors coming around the flank. This is not looking good. Okay, good. They have some pikes to reinforce, reinforce this. They need to reinforce it. Lots of Romans breaking here. 
We have some Egyptian pipes, the pikes who are pretty healthy. I think they were getting harassed by archers. That's why they're kind of waiting behind the safety of this wall. And then we got the pikes over here. Oh, trying to attack, but smart play by Rome. Uh, using the archers, see that all those arrows come in. Trying to soften up those pikes. Don't you fall back, you cowards. So, Lusitani, Lusitani, excuse me, uh, have held the Romans back. And the Romans are going to have to send up reinforcements to, uh, to fight in this, uh, this area here. Because most of the troops are getting focused down. And I think that's what they're doing right now. It seems like they are sending up some uh, Triari uh, up to the fight. Uh-oh. Rome is trying to flank around. We got veteran legionaries trying to get around the pikes. Being held back by a bunch of archers. It's not looking good for this side. They need to set up reinforcements. And they are. More disciples. There they go. Charging into the fray. That's the much needed support they needed there. And they are victorious over here. They defeated the Praetorian Guard. And now the extra forces can head back and join the fight on this side. Rome's got to be careful here. They can't get too careless. They set up archers up here. That's good. Firing down. defender's position. Egypt has to make a decision here. I think Egypt's trying to fire back. Or they're holding fire. But Rome is starting to take control of this open way here. And I wonder how many more troops they're going to send in. Balance of power still looking about the same. Elephants going in. My god, how did I miss this? Why is he charging in the elephants already? They are running amok. So they're chasing down some Romans. Elephants are going to be a big problem. And there they go. They're still going in. Oh, yes. Get them, boys. All the arrows focusing their fire on them. They should use fire arrows. Actually, they're already running amok, so it doesn't matter. Great charge there. Here comes another charge. They're still running amok, so he has no control of them. They're just kind of going wherever they want. There they go. He's now got control. Go for the Praetorian Guard. Or the archers. Archer's now running away. Well, he could charge these guys with the elephants, but... Oh, wow. They're even pushing out over here. They're now slaughtering some archers over on this front. Oh, and this has become quite the battle over here. But it still looks like it's in, in the advantage of the defenders. Thanks to the pikes and all the extra forces from Kush. Pretty gruesome fight here. Rome coming in with some uh, veteran legionaries. More tr troops charging in. The defenders are on their last reserves, but the, the Romans are getting close to that as well. Oh no, the pikes are way out of position. He's retreating the royal guard. What is he doing with the royal guard? This is his general. They're cheering now for some reason. There we go. I don't know what's happening here. This is kind of weird. Uh, I think Egypt's so focused with this elephant. And there we go. The elephants are gone. Hopefully they did enough damage to make them worth it. As they are a very expensive unit. And now he finally. Now he's paying attention to over here. Moving up the pikes. Oh jeez. The arrow's coming in. Why is this royal guard not in pike formation? Maybe they're more defensive that way. I don't know. Now the general, the Kush general, who's just unkillable, going for a charge against the Romans. The Romans were kind of prepared for it. Bounds of power is shifting. 
It is shifting. It's now equal balance. The Romans are getting themselves surrounded in many different spots. And now more Romans coming into the fight. They can kill a general here. And he's going to try. He's flanking around. Maybe he's going around this flank. I think he's going to help out the other veteran legionaries. There goes the charge. Hold that line. More Roman infantry. They've got to send it all in. It's all do or die. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Egyptians are down to just their archers mostly over here. And some pikes, which is, are, are dangerous. Lots of breaking over here on this side with the Roman infantry. And my god. The Romans are starting to crumble. Bounce of power still even. The Romans still can win this one. They need to regroup their forces. They need to uh, abandon this fight here. This is a losing battle. It's too late. They're getting charged in the rear. These Romans are gone. They are going to be destroyed. Veteran legionaries taking on these Chertel warriors. And here we go. More Romans charging in. This is all that they have. It's up to these Romans to take this city. But what did the defenders have? And let's not forget, they have to take this point. And that's why the Romans are aggressively pushing here to try to defend this point. The Egyptians are now abandoning their post because they don't need to defend it. They did what they had to, and now they have to fall back. And the Romans, I think, are trying to hold with the Triari here. Trying to prevent any reinforcements from getting to the town center. And the Cavs going to charge in to try to slow them down. The Romans are going for a capture victory. And that's smart because uh, I don't think they can win by killing all the defenders. Push coming in with all their reinforcements. These Romans are getting focused down. He's just, they're so separated. More Romans coming up, but the pikes are going to get into position here. But they charge the pikes a little bit. Pikes are in a bad spot. Pikes were not in phalanx forma formation. More disciples going in. The Romans, though, are getting slowed down greatly. Look at them. They're desperately trying to go for that capture point. There they go. It's right there. Go for it. What is he chasing? Oh, jeez. And more cav going around. This has been a bloody battle. Let's take a second here. Let's do some slow motion. I mean, it started right here. And ever since this ambush, it did not slow down. The Romans pushed aggressively here. There was a light resistance. But as soon as they got to right here, thousands of troops died in this one area. Another epic fight uh, happened right here. Again, thousands probably died here. Uh, thousands died here. I mean, this was just a gruesome fight to the bitter end. And there's still a chance for the Romans, but they've got to kill some generals, in which they are fighting some generals over here, but they've got to kill them quickly. Ooh, the archers. We got some mercenary archers from Egypt focusing down this Praetorian Guard. The Praetorian Guard are bad, bad soldiers in a good way. And uh, they're going to be able to hold for a long time, regardless if they have a general or not. Guard going in for a charge. Archers now going to try to slow them down. Going into these brave archers. Mercenaries too, by the way. Fighting. Getting definitely their, their money's worth. And now they're trying to capture this point. But I don't think they're going to have enough men to do it. Most of the Romans have been destroyed over here. He's using the Triari to try to hold back the reinforcements that are coming in this way from the defenders. But I just don't think these Triari have enough men in their unit to hold against such numbers from Kush. 
And Kush has been doing really well this battle. Like, I feel like Kush's positioning and his use of his general, very, very nice. And there we go, some Romans breaking over here. The Roman general fighting off some Arverni spear nobles. Egypt has some Thorax swordsmen ready to reinforce. And there we go, the Romans. Roman leadership is breaking. And Kush has a massive army, relatively speaking. And they are going to push in. And now the Praetorian Guard have lost the stomach to fight. The mercenaries have just hold just long enough. Praetorian Guard down to 52. They are wavering. They are routing. There they go. That is going to be it, guys. That is going to be the battle. The defenders. The Odd Alliance. Hold. What... It was such a grindy fight. I mean, so many Romans. I mean, look at all the different pockets of battles. We had one here. Look at all the fighting right here. Uh, the fighting here. And you can just see. I mean, I don't need to tell you. You can see the, just the carnage of all the soldiers who died in these, these areas. And it's a costly victory. And a great victory, nonetheless. Action-packed and just intense. I probably had to lower my graphics for this one a little bit because of um, just how many units and how big the settlement was and it caused some frame issues. I apologize about that, uh, but next time I'll probably... I mean, look at all the units on the battlefield. I mean, huge numbers. Huge battle, guys. Uh, so if we look at the kills... By the way, this was sent in by Solo Wing Pixie. So thank you so much, man, for the battle replay. Uh, he got the most kills. Yeah, he got 3,390... 98 kills, nearly 3,400 kills. That is crazy. And he's playing a faction that's not exactly known for being super OP, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, he did great, a great job. Look at the disciples getting 300 kills each. Uh, I think the disciples did the best there, and his general did amazing. Um, the pikes did their job. Four, oh, 473. That's the most kills. The pikes right there did great. Uh, unclutch. I mean, everybody did great uh, from the de defending side and the attacking side. I mean, look at the kills on the attack. I mean, this was a close K-pop. That's his name. Awesome. Uh, that, that was a close fight, guys. I think if Jackson maybe got a little bit more kills. I think Jackson was the player who got ambushed, and that's probably why he got the least amount. Um, I think if he was able to... <sighs> If he was able to defend against that ambush a little bit better, um, which you can't blame him because he just wasn't expecting it, but I think he could have turned the battle. Uh, that would have been the turning point of the battle. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up here, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. Remember, this is part of Siege Week. At the end of the week, Sunday, you guys will be able to vote on your favorite battle. So uh, you do that on my Discord. So don't forget about that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.